welcome back to your the core connection here on enlightened world network i'm mira rubin and i invite you to join me in just sort of settling in and getting present right now let's just take a deep breath in hold it for a second or two and as you release just relax relax your shoulders relax your jaw relax your back take another deep breath hold it and release it gently any remaining tension bring yourself present put your hands together gently and just feel your palms feel your fingertips bring yourself present into your body into this moment welcome today i thought it would be great to talk about oneness and separation and um, I believe Marianne Williamson, probably among many other people, said that if it's not love, if it's not love, it's fear. Um, and I might have misquoted that actually, but the <laughs> the bottom line is that love conquers all. So let's just talk about love and oneness. Oneness is connection. Oneness is uh, feeling feeling aligned with and bigger than just me as an isolated being. So separation, separation is isolation, loneliness, fear, um, competition, uh, self and other, whereas oneness allows us to recognize our uh, connection to each other and to be part of a bigger human family and a bigger experience of life itself. Uh, when we feel oneness, we feel we can allow ourselves to feel connected to nature. We can feel part of something bigger. We can feel a deeper sense of trust. We can feel a deeper sense of belonging and uh, confidence that it's, it's all working together. Uh, whereas feeling separation is, is falling into all kinds of dynamics that perpetuate fear and, and um, time. We do have the opportunity in any given moment to choose and to presence ourselves. So it takes deliberate effort, it takes consciousness, it takes being aware that you're in a pattern of fear and taking a moment to stop and presence yourself. And when you presence yourself to your breath, you can start feeling into your body, feeling into your feet, for instance. And as you feel into your feet, you can feel your feet touching perhaps your shoes or the floor or the earth. And as you notice that you're touching the earth, you can feel your the air around your body or the temperature on your skin and feel that you're connected to something bigger than yourself and you can allow that experience of connectedness to expand outward and beyond this container that we imagine ourselves to be and as you do that allow yourself to breathe in the the comfort of a universe outside of yourself when we breathe in we're taking in the world when we exhale we're also connecting to that world so we can connect through all our senses we can connect through the sounds that we hear whether it's uh, birds or wind or even traffic still um, we can connect to a world that has the appearance of being outside ourselves. But when we 
allow ourselves to experience our senses as connectors that can enhance our sense of presence and belonging and oneness. And so if you're falling, falling into fear, allow yourself to find a place of connection. In, and the senses are a wonderful tool to do that uh, by touching the grass, touching a flower, touching a wall, you know, just to presence yourself to that touch, there's an exchange. There's an exchange from your senses to the, even the molecular energy of whatever is external to you. And that can allow you to connect more deeply with something bigger than ourselves. And when we feel that connection, we feel less isolated and the experience of fear dissipates. So those moments of falling in and out of fear and in and out of an experience of trust and connection and oneness and and it comes back to exercising our sovereignty over our own experience being willing to know that the uncertainty has always been uncertain and that we can presence ourselves to the possibility in the uncertainty of the moment, uh, that we can look at the opportunities, that we can count the blessings. And so today's invitation is to find ways to connect, uh, even just yourself, to connect with your surroundings, to expand beyond the, the limited experience of fear or anxiety and, and breathe into a broader presence. So with lots of love and compassion, I hope you'll join us tomorrow.